Hey yo, welcome back to MBK Reacts. Reacts. Episode number two to the next sports anime we're watching, Kuroku no Bashkin. We got Mo here with us. Oh, we got Mo here with us today. And for the rest of the series, he tried to get out of it. Not happening. I promise you these guys, their emotions are gonna be rising as soon as this series, as soon as the series keeps on going, bro. Right now, as you can see, they're still not convinced that this show's good. No. But you and me both know that this show, it, it gets nice. I want to watch my hero. <laughs> That's what I want to hey, watch Tokyo. Hey, hey, I don't know what's her problem. Hey, so last episode we seen, we got introduced to Kuroko and Kagami. Kagami came from America, serious about basketball. He wants to get, he wants to get good. Kuroko, six man of the generation of miracles. They all uh, went to different schools. Now Kuroko's he's here. He's not good. And his potential sucks. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, but we do know that he kind of disappears in the core. They can't really see him. And his passes are... <coughs> Slide of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Slide of hand. <laughs> Blonzo boy. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end, Kagami said... Kagami and Kuroko, they decided... Kuroko decided to make Kagami one of the best players in Japan. That was like the little deal they made. So now we're about to jump into episode number two. You know what to do, like, I'm gonna make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share the bell up for our Crocodile no Basket playlist so you get notified when we upload a new video next. <laughs> Episode starting in 3, 2, 1, go. The one right there. Uh, uh, you know that was Kobe right there. He said, <laughs> oh. <laughs> He said, <laughs> 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 I can, yeah, I can actually make this that for the person instead of what they do like this. Nice, nice. Oh, so you're a Suki. You're a Suki type. <laughs> He's the opposite of Suki. <laughs> he said, yeah, what are you trying to boss me around for? So he's technically still trying to... Shadow. He's down the back trying to be cool. <laughs> Hands his pockets and shit. Hold on, back crumpets. We're sure it's Karen. Okay, we go back to focus. You don't know who that guy is. Rookie game debut? I'm 
幼稚園の小学校の時に。<笑><笑><笑>
Same move. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he makes them his own. Oh. Introduced to one of the generation of miracles, he said. Seems like he's able to copy Kanyama's move. <clears throat> nah, first he started off the left hand dribble. <clears throat> then he did the <clears throat> in and out, bam. dribble, dribble, cut. <clears throat> one, two. In front of the camera, he banged it on him. So we saw he said he's stronger and faster than uh, Kagiyama. And then he was also able to copy his technique. Kagiyama. Ah, oh, copy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know he said. I didn't know he said Kagiyama either. Kagami? <laughs> yeah, it's Kagami. Kagami! So what do you guys think about Rise, Kise right now? Like, just off of the first, first impressions. I think Kise is LeBron James comp. Like, for one, they say he's all-arounder. I don't think I'm any better all-around player right now than LeBron all time. Um, and he's just, he learns how he plays. And as a person who, he has to have a high IQ to even do that. First off, to even learn. At, you watch somebody do something, you can instantly imitate it and learn as you play it. That's IQ. That's LeBron James. That's his comment. Unless it's somebody who's... And he's kind of tall. He's banging out. Y'all seen him. He up there. He up there. Kind of got hops and he banged on him. <laughs> like, you feel me? So, yeah, I'm thinking his... He, he, he tough, though, for sure. He tough. He's going to so, be a problem. So, right now, you compare him to LeBron James? Yeah, he's supposed to be the worst. So, it's like... So, how, how is he going to be LeBron James? I'm not, not LeBron. How about more like Scottie Pippen? How about no? How no. about since he just started playing basketball, probably like maybe one or two years ago, and oh, learned that yeah, two years ago, you should compare him to like maybe either an all around rookie or something. Okay, 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 for sure, all around rookie. I would say like mm, that's tough actually to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's very really tough. That last two years. I mean, he's the first ones. We still got we still got other ones too. So you don't even have to do it yet. You know, what about you, Mark? I need, I, need, I need some more episodes to get a, like okay. an opinion, you know what I mean? So like, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, you only see the, 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 like the yeah, most, like play. I said, we already seen one play where he just like copied someone's move. Like, like yeah. that's basically just, the only thing we know is that he's faster and stronger than the buffest guy that we've seen right now. So I mean, that's, that tells you already that uh, his body alone doesn't like, he, he like, he doesn't even look at his buff. Like he looks tall, but like, he's like a, he's like Kevin Durant. He's like, no, no, he's not that skinny, but he's like, Okay, okay. He doesn't look like he has that like good of a wingspan either. Like he's kind of like just like it looks like a shooting guard, like a basic shooting guard. Okay, okay. But like he, uh, but um, 
if he's faster and stronger than the buffest guy that we've seen on their team, then I'm actually interested to see like what team he plays with. Because mm. <laughs> because if he's the best on his team, then everyone around him must be like almost just as good. Because he taller than Kyrie? No, he was like the same height. So like like I said, that's hell impressive. And I want to see what position he plays. Mm. Probably point guard because he's like the man. He's the dude. He's that guy. Dude. I think what's his name was a uh, point guard. Uh, Kuroko. Mini me. Kuroko was playing guard. Uh, the green hair dude was a shooting guard because he's a jumper. And then he was probably small forward. Oh yeah. yeah. Power forward is the defensive dude, and I know the center is the, the rebounder, or like the girl is the um, point guard or something. Okay, you, you got me a little bit interested in this, but uh, don't keep your hopes up. <laughs> hey, how y'all feel about our, uh, how the guy accepted onto the team? Well, how they had to ask to be on the team. Oh, about that. Complete uh, utter. Yes. My oh, wow. Opinion. I thought y'all was going to say, hey, that was a pretty funny moment. I thought y'all was going to say, No, it's funny. Uh, funny. And it was that funny as hell. That was funny. When bro started talking about his whole life story. That was funny. That was, I knew something was going to happen when I seen the ellipses. That was unexpected when he was talking about his life story. Because like, as soon as it cut, that's when you like, knew what was going on. <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny. Yeah, that was funny. Hey, well, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of more good moments. And I'm telling you right now, this show gets crazy. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> I didn't know I'm at a job interview. <laughs> so that's it for episode two, episode two of Crocodile Basket. So you don't see this live time, we're gonna make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, turn your post notifications on, and BK out.